and uh, well, welcome back to the Nook. Here it is, and uh, actually, it's all pretty much the same. I was going to change like the Erasure poster, but uh, I haven't got around to that yet. We'll get there. We will get there. Been a busy few weeks, uh, but welcome back to the Nook. If you haven't remembered, I'm Neil Gardner. This is Bob the Hat with his lovely cat pin, uh, and this is the Nook. It's where we listen to vinyl and review vinyl and love vinyl, and basically it's all about vinyl uh, and a Nook, obviously. Um, but yeah, so you're very welcome, and uh, it's almost the end of February 2018, and uh, I decided to do a little experiment this weekend. Um, it's one I did last year, and probably going to do several more times this year again, uh, but I decided I'd pop down to a local second-hand record shop. Uh, now, I live in Croydon in South London, and uh, nearby is a town called Beckenham, and there there is an amazing Aladdin's Cave, uh, a cornucopia of vinyl and CDs and DVDs and Blu-rays and everything else, but mostly vinyl. It's called Wanted Music. They've actually got two stores. There's another one a little bit further into uh, Surrey as well. Uh, but this is an absolute treasure trove of amazing uh, second-hand vinyl, all in really good condition at great prices. Uh, everything from singles through to albums and box sets, rarities. And their knowledge there is, is second to none. They've got some great staff. It's a really inviting, lovely place to go, particularly if you like a bit of crate digging, because whilst everything is beautifully ordered, there's also opportunities just to dive in and find some you know, lovely treasure. It's just amazing. Um, so I thought I'd pop in uh, yesterday afternoon. Uh, it's a lovely Saturday afternoon, uh, wintry, cold, but sunshiny. I thought, what better to do on a glorious sunny day than to go into a very dark shop? Uh, anyway, I went in uh, with the plan of what can I get for about £50. Uh, so not too much, not too little, uh, enough to be able to get a few things, uh, but what kind of value can I get? And I came out with some goodies, I can tell you. Now, of course, it's a personal taste, it's stuff that I'm interested in, I don't expect you to necessarily agree with my choices of music, uh, but I think you'll find the value on offer from Wanted Music in Beckenham really top-notch. So we'll start with something kind of poppy rocky so i'm going to pop down here and get it for you and here we go it is brian adams waking up the neighbors uh and this is the two lp set uh so uh you get four tracks on one four 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 anyway you have three but anyway uh quite rare to get uh the two set and uh there it's in there, we'll have a look at the moment. And let's have a look at the price. If we come on into the, you'll see it is just 15 pounds. 15 pounds for two LPs of uh, pop rock music uh, from 1991, of course, produced by Mutt Lang. Uh, pretty much Brian's uh, comeback album, I suppose, in the early 90s, kind of reminded us of, uh, of how good he was. And let's have a look at what's inside the Magic 12 inch sleeve. So first of all, that's what I like about Wanted Music. You, you get most of the stuff that was there originally. So we've got the lyric sheet here with some pictures of Moody Brian uh, doing his moody thing. Uh, very nice too. And I think it opens up. If I can get my thumbs to work, it does. And you get a poster of his crotch. Hang on. It, uh, if you can work out which way up it's meant to go, good luck to you. Um, anyway, so you get all that, so that's good. Uh, and so we put that over there. And then, of course, we get our two slabs of vinyl. And there they are. Very nice, too. And uh, I'll get one out for you so you can have a look at the quality. I did check these in the store. That's the nice thing. Is before you buy anything, um, for a lot of the records, they actually store the vinyl separately from the sleeves so they don't get damaged when people are, uh, are, are digging through the crates. Uh, there's some of them that have the vinyl in there, but you're always allowed, obviously, to check everything. You can listen if you want, uh, and they're very, very careful about making sure that they're not selling you a duffer. Uh, and I like that an awful lot. Good opportunity to check. So they are beautifully clean. A little bit dusty, of course, as you'd imagine, from sitting on a shelf, but absolutely pristine, I'm not even sure if it's been played. Uh, it's very nice, very flat. Well, obviously that's because I'm holding it a little bit. Uh, it's thin, so it's not like the modern version that you could get uh, on 180 gram. It's uh, original, but that's still lovely. And looking forward to having a good listen to that one. Uh, both discs in very good shape. Uh, sleeves are in very, very good shape. They're almost pure white color, so they've not discolored at all. Um, and uh, hardly any creasing at all. So. I would say that might actually be a pristine copy of Waking Up the Neighbours, uh, original 1991. Uh, as I say, the slightly rarer 2 LP set. So very pleased with that for £15. What a bargain. Good work. 
So we shall move on. I'll put that one down there. Oh, I didn't put these naughty me lyric sheets. So I shall put that back in, I promise. And I've got a nice outer sleeve for it. So now this is rather special. Back before he got a bit too fruity with some of his instrumentation. Uh, it's Sting. Um, yes, very nice. So the dream of the Blue Turtles album. And uh, for just 12 Earth Pounds, that's British Earth Pounds, of course, uh, it is a gorgeous, quite rare, picture disc edition. Let's have a quick look on the back. And uh, there's a little bit of blurb from Mr. Sting. And, of course, the running order and a couple of moody photographs, as you'd expect. Uh, this was 1985 this came out. So this is an original 1985. You've actually got a cutout on the front. So if I can lift that slightly for you. Look, there you go. You've got little holes there to look through to the picture disc, and I shall get the picture disc out for you. It's rather uh, a century overload. So we put that to one side. There we go. And again, uh, I don't think this has been played, or if it has, maybe only once. It's absolutely gorgeously clean. No scratches or marks or anything. So on the front, I think it's the front, uh, you get a bit of a montage of Sting doing his stingy things in stingy ways, which is always good for Sting. Uh, on the other side, it's uh, even more montage heavy. Shows you some of the album and single covers, uh, ticket stubs for various concerts, tour dates, uh, and very nice too. Look at that, gorgeous. If you're into your sting, uh, I like the music, not sure I like the guy, uh, but you know, good album. So there you are, look at that, a very nice, rare picture disc edition of. Uh, of the dream of the blue turtles um, very nice it is too uh, on the inside actually there's a uh, there's some lyrics uh, you can't really quite see them because it's white against bright light but very nice too um, that actually pulls out so it's an inner sleeve to protect your picture disc should you so wish to protect your picture disc so look at that another bargain uh, just 12 pounds for that one and again in pristine condition the the sleeve is very slightly damaged here a little bit of a, a, a crack and a tear but that's fine because it's the juicy vinyl goodness within that bob and i are in this game for so i should put that one down now third and finally we got a little collection now you may know you may not know but if you're a eurythmics fan uh they're about to re-release all their original albums on new i presume 180 gram vinyl uh if you go to pledge music you can buy in early and i think they're coming out uh from the summer onwards uh, and that's very exciting and um, you know decent pricing and everything else but i kind of want the original pressings because uh, that's the kind of guy i am i know but i do love my original vinyl i didn't get a chance to buy them at the time even though i was a big fan but being uh you sort of 12 13 14 years old didn't really have an awful lot of money for vinyl uh so the choices you made at the time are the choices you made at the time and uh, i didn't unfortunately buy them i had them on cassette so I went hunting for some Eurythmics at Wanted Music in Beckenham, and this is the first one I found. Uh, for just £9, the truly terrible cover art. Uh, I don't know why they decided to use such a blurry image of the lovely Annie, uh, but it is, of course, iconic, so uh, fine. Um, but yes, so we've got the Eurythmics and uh, Be Yourself Tonight. There we are. Uh, nine pounds this cost me in very nice condition a few dents and bumps and, and bops on there uh, and there's Dave A. Stewart on the back looking blurry and, and liney and obviously taken from a very close-up photograph of a video um, and so this uh, was originally 1985 again I love the fact that it shows you uh, not only the serial number for the record but for the cassette and I think it must be for the CD yeah yeah early CD um so we got Would I Lie to You, There Must Be an Angel Playing With My Heart, I Love You Like a Ball and Chain, Sisters Doing It For Themselves. I mean, real classics on here. And so we'll have a look inside. And again, oh, look, you get a little insert. So there's the tracks that are on there. And as if you didn't know the lyrics already, there's a lyric sheet. So I should just put that over there to be careful. It's exciting to actually get the original stuff in there. So often these things have been lost or damaged or broken or torn up or written on, of course. Us kids writing on our old albums. So here's the inner sleeve. Another piece of uh, taken from a VHS or video close-up shot. Iconic though, quite cool. And uh, Dave on the other side. And this is in pristine condition. Um, hardly any damage whatsoever. And then inside, being ever so careful, I should have a quick look. Let me put the sleeve over there. 
And again, a little bit of dust and uh, hair. Where's the hair come from? And uh, But otherwise, uh, nothing that a little run through the old uh, anti-stack cleaner uh, won't do. It's just, yeah, a little bit grimy. But otherwise, no scratches, no, no blemishes. Uh, nice and flat. And, and it looks like vinyl. It smells like vinyl. It feels like vinyl. I think we can say safely it's vinyl. So I'm very pleased with that one. Definitely going to be cranking the tunes up on there. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy the new versions yet. I'm still thinking about that one. It's one of those, do I really want to invest in yet another edition of an album I've now got for just £9? Um, you know, I want to support the band and, 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 and do my bit, but at the same time, I've already got the box set, I've got the CD Ultimate Editions, I, I, we'll think about that one. Um, I've got a bit of a while to, to dive into that pledge music. Uh, but, for just £8, we're also able to get Revenge. Aha! Uh -huh. Very nice piece of artwork there. Dave does look a little bit like someone might be tickling him, just, just, just below. Uh, but just £8 for this one. Uh, very nice indeed. So this is 1986, the next album along. Uh, Missionary Man, Thorn in My Side, When Tomorrow Comes, The Miracle of Love, just hit after hit after hit. Uh, you know what you're getting with Eurythmics, just top, top pop. Uh, and so again, very quickly on the inside, uh, you get a nice inner sleeve with all the lyrics. But that's one of the great things about vinyl, isn't it, that they can use the inner sleeves uh, to give you more information or pictures or whatever, some lovely little artwork cutouts. And again, vinyl-wise, don't think it's ever been played. Uh, absolutely clean, a little bit dusty, just needs a quick clean off. Uh, but otherwise, that is a gorgeous slab of vinyl. Uh, and of course, even better, it's got Eurythmic songs on it. So uh, that's going to be a rather nice one to be playing with. Uh, maybe later on this afternoon, whilst I'm doing a bit of cleaning up. Uh, so there we go, one more. Now, finally, remember I, excuse me, itchy nose, that's Bob, he's just tickling me. Um, I was going for about fifty pounds, and there was I thought well, there's got to be one more thing, one more thing. And interesting, not in the E crate for Eurythmics, but just kind of sitting around. I just my eye was you'll see why my eye was drawn to something rather green and glowy and turtly and strange, gooey kind of eighties, early nineties neon color. Um, and actually, it's Eurythmics as well. It turned out, and here it is. Look at this. Woo! That's green. Semi -trans translucent lime green neon green toxic, av toxic avenger green. I don't know, it's something green. Uh, it is gorgeous. Um, and it is Would I Lie to You, the extended mix. And here comes that sinking feeling, Eurythmics on one side, and Would I Lie to You, the original version on the other side. Seven pounds for that. Um, didn't come with an original sleeve, uh, so this plastic sleeve will do for the moment, but I've got a proper sleeve to put it in uh, once I put it in onto the shelf. Uh, absolutely pristine condition, a uh, little bit of hair uh, and dust, but again, I don't know if it's been played. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that green look. Look at that in the green. Oh, it's just so nice. So, uh, yeah, not bad for a haul. That all cost me 50 smackaroonies. 50 quid. Bob was shocked. Um, it was a great experience going there. I only went in for about 15 minutes, to be honest with you. I uh, really didn't even get dived in properly like you should. Um, but that's for another day, I think, when I've got a little bit more money as well, so I can really buy some good stuff and then come back and report back to you. Um, but I can't recommend them highly enough. If you're in the London, South London, Surrey, Kent area of the UK, or if you're visiting the UK from abroad, you're a bit of a vinyl fan, and you're in the London area, take a trip down to Beckenham. Uh, you can get down there via Croydon uh, or directly via Beckenham. You can use the trams. Uh, there's loads of buses. Uh, a little bit limited on parking. If you're coming by car, there is a little side road next to them with some paid parking. Uh, but there are some car parks in Beckenham and it's a short walk around the corner. But pop in, go and see the guys at Wanted Music. Uh, really great knowledge, great service. But honestly, as you can see for the pictures, uh, amazing uh, amount of crates and records and uh, just a choice beyond choice. Uh, so if you're looking for something and you're in the kind of South London, North Surrey, North Kent area, uh, then pop over to Wanted Music in Beckenham. Highly recommended. Bob absolutely loves it. He wanted to stay. Uh, I said I needed him, obviously, for this. So I think he'll probably be popping back later on whilst I'm not looking. Uh, and uh, yeah, had a great time. So going to go put all those on the old spinning platter machine now and have myself a lovely Sunday afternoon just enjoying some fantastic classic vinyl. Thanks. We'll see you very soon once again here 
in the listening nook with Erasure and the blob thing and the fragments and the cat and the transformers and me because I've been Neil Gardner he's been Bob the Hat with the cat pin and we'll be back very soon from the listening nook but for now bye <laughs>